Dudes in a video game. Why me? Why not? World's overpopulated. That's wants to do my part. But you liked me. Once upon a time. Why did you have to kill me? Felt like it, okay. Happy now. Why me? What is this? Why me? I don't even know you. You were in the wrong place, the wrong time. Why me? Why not? Everybody's got to die sometime. Might as well get it over with. Why me? We used to live on the same street. We made mud pies together. I taught you how to blow bubblegum. I came to your birthdays, and you came to mine. When we were 11, you let me play war with you and the other boys. Because you liked how I died. I hope I didn't disappoint you in the cafeteria this morning. I hope I died just right for you. you didn't have to fall on me. Get me your bloody. Want to see it again? Go on, shoot me again! Bang! Love that feeling. Love it. Crave it. Need it. Good to have a gun grip in your hand. HAND! hand. Always wants to be an army ranger, parachuting behind enemy lines. Ever since I could hold a... Cap gun. Water gun. Air gun. Pop gun. BB gun. 12 gauge. 22. 38. 45. Gun makes you feel alive. ALIVE! When you have a gun... Nobody can touch you. When you have a gun... Nobody mocks you. When you have a gun... You can take on anybody. Champ wrestler. The bad dudes. Gang bangers. When you have a gun, people talk nice. When you have a gun, people look at you like a VIP. VIP! Somebody bumps you, they say, Excuse me. You walk different. When you have a gun, you talk different. When you have a gun, you think different. When you have a gun, it's so cool. When you have a gun, gun! gun. It's an A plus, slam dunk, touchdown, put down, all in one. One! one. Love that military stance. You ain't got a chance. Respect. Watch out. Move aside. <coughs> Gun in your hand is a P-H-D. Josh, there is absolutely no way we're buying you a rifle. Well, will you listen to me? First, you had to have a PC. Then, every video game, game ever made. Then, a laptop for school, Dad. A new cell phone, a beeper, the newest style Nikes every three months. You have to have every CD you hear on the radio. A new mountain bike you rode three times. A snowboard you never used, and now a rifle? Please. Grandpa wants to take me hunting. I'm absolutely against it. Grandpa hunts? Are you denying what your own father thinks? Of, of course not. Then I shall get the rifle, right? I wish you were as passionate about your grade as you are about a rifle. You're changing the subject. You have a high IQ, Josh. Your B's and C's could be all A's. We'd get off my back about my IQ. Well, we might feel differently if you were living up to your full potential. Okay, you give me the rifle, and I'll bring home all A's on my next report card. Deal? We'll think about a rifle when we see all A's. You don't even trust me. Josh, you know that's not true. Well, if you trust me, then you get me the rifle now. When you get all A's, we'll discuss it. Hunting season will be over by the time the grades come out. Then I'll have to wait a whole year. You have to learn patience. Hunting teaches patience, Grandpa said. But what's he know? He's only your father. All I want to do is spend some time with Grandpa. Here's some sp stories about how he grew up. Learn some responsibility. Learn some respect. 
Firearms. How is that all bad? It's, it's not bad, Josh. It's just that we're not comfortable with guns. If I wanted to, I could get a gun in school for 50 bucks. How? Easy. I know a kid who stole a gun from his father. But I wouldn't do that, because that would be wrong. That's what I get for being honest. Maybe his honesty deserves the rifle as a reward. Oh, well, maybe he shouldn't cave in every time he throws a tantrum. Oh, like the time you bought him an electric guitar when he threw himself on the floor. Well, at least that showed an interest in music. Yeah, now it's collecting dust in the closet. Divide and conquer works every time. So don't blame me. Blame my folks, okay? They didn't have to buy me a rifle. You still haven't answered my question, Josh. Why me? Simple math. My rifle holds five bullets. Five bullets, five people. Perfect. You know, the bullet that killed me pierced my parents' hearts too. Pierced my brother and sister's heart. Pierced my friends' hearts. Pierced the hearts of parents who send their kids to school. Just five bullets wounded hundreds. Thousands. Wounds that bleed. Wounds that weep. Wounds that never heal. Wounds that are very real. Thousands. Thousands. Get lost. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair at all. That our bodies lie in coffins while you still breathe the air. Just think of it this way. You have your own cosy little place and you can't beat the rent. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair at all. That we're under the earth and you don't even care. No, it's not fair. Some dude jumped me via the chance to reload. I could have dropped a lot more bodies and made history. We demand an honest answer, Josh. We need some answers tonight, Josh. We want the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. We are going to open you up. Dissect you like a frog. Pluck out your heart. Just for a start. Till you tell us why. Why? Why me? Why anybody? Why? Why? It was fun. You don't have a proper frame of mind. We'll be all over you. Up one side. Down the other. In your face. Under your skin. Till you tell us why. Why? Why? Why, Josh? You can't hurt me. You're all dead. We'll do whatever it takes tonight. Whatever it takes. To crack you open. Till then, you'll live in hell. Until you're released. When you're astute. Broken. Bitter, old man. Full of scars. Scars on body and mind. Friendless. Hopeless. Mindless. Soulless. Some lawyer will get me off. <laughs> if you survive. Survive what? Yo, bad boy. Name's Josh. What's yours? You're the new kid that offs seven people. That dude didn't jump me. I don't have enough ammo on me to take out a hundred more. I would have made history. We'll just see how bad you are tomorrow. What do you mean? You'll see, bad boy. Whoa. Do you feel yourself start to shrink? Feel the walls closing in. Compressing your thoughts. Cramming your brain. Driving you insane. You'll wish you were dead every so often. Your six by ten will be your coffin. Nobody will hear. When you scream and cry. Tell what? us why. Why, Josh? Why? What was in your heart? Why just smile when you killed us? Just a friendly guy. We need some answers, Josh. We want some answers tonight, Josh. We want the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. As the cops said, I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can be held against me in the court of law. The court now here prosecutor's opening statements. Your Honour, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, seven dead bodies, dozens of witnesses, what to think about? And the court now here from the public defender. Josh was a good student, a popular student, and a good son. There's only one te a possible explanation. Temporary insanity. I call witnesses for the prosecution. Josh pulled the wings off a butterfly when he was five. And he played drive on a paper for English class. The court now here closing statements. Gentlemen of the jury, he's just a child. I 
psychiatrist put Josh in a psychiatric ward! I'm not psycho just because I was forced to see a psychotherapist. Ladies, I knew what I was doing. Ladies and gentlemen of the joy, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honour. Life imprisonment without possibility. Possibility of what? Without possibility of anything good. You'll never achieve your dreams. Never skydive. Never ski rock Australia. Never explore the colder of a volcano. Never fly in a helicopter. Never be a sportscaster. Never ski again. Never body surf. Never people watch. Done. See. Have. Known in your lifetime. Now you'll never know all the happiness that was yours. But you'll wonder. And a wonder that will eat you alive. Eat you for breakfast. Eat you for lunch. Eat you for dinner. While all your dreams mock you. Mock you. Mock you through the bars. So what? The whole thing will be off my record when I'm 18 anyway. Maybe I'll be out here when I'm 21. You're just a bad <coughs> dream. Sometimes bad dreams come true. <laughs> That's how it is, under the earth. In the dark. Alone. In silence. What were you thinking, Josh? What was in your heart? Why just smile when you killed us? Just a friendly guy. Did you feel badly? Did you think of the book when you killed me? What book? You know what book. Your first time hunting. With your grandpa. How can you know that? We know everything about you. We're all in your head. How? How can you know all that? We know all your deep, dark secrets. All your thoughts, all your feelings. All your memories. Dreams. Everything. Psych, tell me one fact about that day. Tell me one thing, Grandpa. Just you and Grandpa on his old red truck. <coughs> Respect the animals, Josh. Don't make a shot unless you know it's shot. Make it quick and clean. Otherwise, the animal suffers. Wow. That old logging road is full of rats. You both bounce on the seat. You can't wait to shoot your new rifle. I'm pumped. Grandpa parks the truck. And you both sit there, waiting for 6 a.m. Waiting to shoot the new rifle. Let's go, Josh. You both get out of the truck. It's cold. <laughs> you can see your breath. Grandpa watches you load the my rifle's magazine. Five shiny bullets. You show him that the safety is on. Atta boy, you'll be a man by the end of the day! You both head for the forest. You see other hunters. Now, you stay here, keep still, and I'll drive the game towards you. You sit on a log for two hours. Hours on a cold, wet log covered in moss. Wishing you were still in a warm bed. Wishing you'd eaten the oatmeal your mother had begged you to eat. Nose goes numb. Fingers go numb. Toes go numb. And you have a profound thought. Hunting sucks. He goes off. See it for five, ten, fifteen minutes. And then something wakes you up. The rustling of dry leaves. You don't move. The rustling leaves down comes closer. And then you see it. A buck. Eight pointer. Like in a dream. Amazing. Magnificent. Strong. Proud. Keen. All you want to be. <clears throat> But the book has to die. And then you notice the rifle in your hand. You remember <coughs> why you're there. To kill. Kill the magnificent. Kill the proud. Kill the strong. Kill the keen buck. The time has come. Time to be a man. Or stay a boy. Who plays bang, bang, you're dead. The book sees me. Freezes. You hear your heartbeat. You raise your rifle. You can't see it in the script. Because your hands are shaking. Hold your breath. Crosshairs <coughs> into the book's shoulder. The moment of truth has come. But this book is too beautiful to die. So you make your face a mask. A mask that hides your face. A face that hides the pain. A pain that eats your heart. A heart nobody knows. You pull the trigger, but nothing happens. The safety's still on. You panic. You pull the safety off. You take aim. Find the book in the crosshairs. It is so beautiful. <coughs> But you don't know if you can kill this one. BAM! First shot misses! BAM! Bam! Second shot misses! BAM! Third shot misses! BAM! Bam! Fourth shot misses! Down on one knee! Find the buck in the crosshairs! It's so beautiful. BAM! A 
and the book goes down. Cool. You tear across the fields. You see who you used to be. Your eyes meet the books. You're full of fear. Helpless. And it makes a pitiful sound that makes you hurt inside. A cry that could be human. Oh, man. Blood pulses out like ketchup. Its legs move like it's walking on the air. And you wish you could take it all back. Take back the bullets. <coughs> Put back the blood. Restore the book to its majesty. Give back its pride. Return its strength. Make it keen once more. Let it be what it is and run like the wind. I didn't know it would be like this. But you hear boots on dead leaves. Grandpa comes, out of breath. He sees your dying book. He looks at you like no one has ever looked at you before. Like a man. As promised. A man by the end of the day. Grandpa takes out a camera. Come on, Josh! Can't you smile in your moment of glory? You stop your tears. You make your face a mask. A mask that hides your face. A face that hides the pain. A pain that eats your heart. A heart nobody knows. Now you have proof of who you are. You carry the snapshot everywhere. You want everyone to see you and your book. You're dying to tell the story. The story of how you took it down. Took its magnificence. Took its pride. And you took its strength. Made it a part of you. Part of your mass. <coughs> hey, Katie. Hi. You're writing thing for speech class. Guess what mine's about? The book I shot last weekend. Man, it was so cool. What's yours on? How to dump somebody. How's it go? Say your boyfriend says he's going to meet you at the mall to take you shopping, but instead, he goes hunting. Come on, Katie, we could do something this coming weekend. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Can't you give me another chance? Excuse me, I'm busy. I like somebody else now. Who? Doesn't matter. It matters to me! What does it matter? Just tell me who! Hey, sorry, I'm, I'm late. Oh. Hey, hey, Josh. Him? It's him? I thought we were friends! No, we are, Josh. Some friend who sneaks around my girl. I'm not yours! No one is sneaking around, Josh. Can we just go, please? to school with a shotgun and? and blows away all the kids that mocked him the day before. Shut up! Blows away the teacher too. Get out of my face! Why are you skipping gym class? Maybe I've got something better to do. Like walking through the halls? Like sneak into an empty classroom? What are you writing on the blackboard? Every... Everybody in this class is Body... In. 
Do you enjoy making everyone afraid? Just for laughs. Except nobody's laughing. I am! And they're not laughing anymore. Do you enjoy the police coming to school? More than I can say. All right. I want everyone to stand by his or her locker. This your locker? Yes, officer. Do you know anything about the words on the blackboard? No, officer. Did you see anyone go in or come out of the classroom? No. Where were you when the words were written on the blackboard? I'd have to know when the words were written, wouldn't I, officer? Let me know if you hear anything. I hear the principal's holding a assembly. What for? Maybe they found out who did it. That's what I heard. I don't know, but whoever it is, he's going to be caught on stage from the whole school and suspended on the spot. He's got to find him first. Take away all the guns. <laughs> Ever heard of the Constitution and the right to bear arms? How will we mean to get an education dodging bullets? It's all a hoax. Have you heard of Paducah? Not Jones, but Springfield. It could happen anywhere. There's a killer in every school. Teachers should carry guns. And we should all wear, like, bulletproof vests. Oh, my God, I got it. Was it was not a all right, people, let's settle down. You're sweating, Josh. It's hot in it, okay? Someone in this auditorium wrote some very threatening words on the blackboard. Perhaps the blackboard phantom did it in jest, or perhaps in anger, whatever the case. Blackboard phantom, love that. If the guilty party surrenders in my office today, the punishment will be minimal. If I discover who he or she is, the punishment will be severe. If you know who the Blackpool Phantom is and don't tell me, you will be just as guilty. She's looking at you, Josh. My poker face are right back. So you make your face a mask? A mask that hides your face. A face that hides the pain. A pain that eats your heart. A heart nobody knows. Who could it be? I think it's Randy. How do you know? I mean, look in his eye. Paducah, Jonesboro, Springfield. They know nothing. We're just waiting for a massacre to happen. You shouldn't talk about it. Why not? Maybe if we keep talking about it, we can make it happen. Paducah, Jonesboro, Springfield. We need a bit of excitement around here. That's stupid. <laughs> it could be you. Maybe, maybe it's you. Who knows? This could be the last day of my life. Oh, I think it's Melissa. Why'd you say that? Look, it is right next to the classroom. No, I was with Melissa all day. Then maybe you and Melissa did it together. Paducah, Jonesboro, Springfield. I'd love to see this worm killing me. Hey, Kay. Can't you say hi? Hi. Fancy going for pizza yeah. after school? Michael wouldn't like that. Tell the truth. I wasn't planning on bringing him along. Excuse me, I'm busy. Who do you think it is? Who? The Blackboard Phantom. I don't know, but you did me a favour. How? Calculus class was cancelled for the assembly. I wasn't ready for the test. I know who it is. Give him my regards. I will. Who is it? Promise wouldn't tell. You don't know. Think so? No, so. Who's he mad at? Who's dead meat? He didn't say. He's like Santa Claus. Writing list, checking it twice. A list of what? Names. Names to write on bullets. Every bullet has someone's name on it. Why would the Blackboard Phantom confide in you? We're mates. You're full of it. I think so. No, so. You're wrong. You don't know who it is. Promise you not tell? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yeah. You're looking at
you compare the writing on the blackboard to your last essay in English class, it was a perfect match. Katie, right? Wasn't it Katie? Do you just want to make it easier and confess? Why confess when I didn't do anything? It's tragic when a talented young man throws away an education for what? A childish prank? You know we have a zero tolerance policy for violence or even the threat of violence. I've got no choice but to expel you for the rest of the year. For some stupid words on the blackboard, I have to repeat the grade. Not if you make it up in summer school. I won't go! I won't go! I won't go! Josh, you will go to summer school no matter what. What, sit in hot class all day, what other kids do what they want, and study on summer nights? Well, you should have thought about that before you wrote on the blackboard. And you're grounded. For how long? All summer. I, I can't go hunting with Grandpa. You broke your promise. We've taken your rifle away. I'd rather be dead! Josh, you don't really mean that. You'll see if I mean it. You all see it can only take so much. Summer school, expelled, kids laughing at me, and pushed to my limits. I think you should calm down. Give me my rifle. You gave it to me. You'll get it back when we see a real change in your attitude. It was a gift. At least you said it was. Guess I can't believe a word you say. Josh, you're in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it any worse. I hate you both! I wish you'd just die. I don't have to look at you anymore! You can't talk that way to us anymore! Go to your room! No! Why did you have to take away the thing that means the most to me? Because we raised you wrong! We tried to give you a good life, but all we did was feed your appetite! Where's my rifle? It's, it's my rifle! It's locked up! And if your attitude doesn't improve, we will sell it! And starting tomorrow, you're seeing a psychotherapist. Summer school. No friends. No phone. Psycho torture! This is, this is my life! It's over! My life is over! It's over! It's over! It's over! How are you, Josh? How good could I be if I'm forced to see the psychotherapist? Don't you want to get to the bottom of your problems? I have nothing to say to you. Why not? If I had something to say, I would say it, wouldn't I? Duh. I've talked to some people at your school. Your coach praises your team's spirit. Your teachers say that despite your constant need to be class proud, you're rough and pleasant and bright. You've had amazing grades in the past, and I hear you're a very big hit with the girls. I broke a few hearts. With all of that going for you, why did you write the words on the blackboard? Why the chicken cross the road? I give up. To prove it wasn't chicken. Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Don't know. It died. Why did the second monkey fall out of the tree? Don't know. It died. Why did the third monkey fall out of the tree? It died. No. Peer pressure. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Why did you write words on the blackboard, Josh? Why did chicken cross the road? To avoid answering questions. And out of here. We need psychotherapy sessions to get back into school. Maybe I don't want to go back to school. Oh, what will you do? Maybe I'll join again. Don't you think that's a little self-destructive? Why not? Life sucks. I just well kill myself. Boom. No more pain. Hear about Josh? No, what now? It blew out his brains. What a loser. He always was a weenie. Do you think about suicide, Josh? Sometimes. Like when? When I hear the voices. What voices? Voices. Just imagine what the mist was saying about me. Voices in the air or voices in your head? My head. Whose voices? Kids. Kids you know? Kids. Kids, all the kids at school. Why does that bother you? It just does, okay? Josh, yes. I'd like you to go to hospital to examine you to see if we can <coughs> leave the problems through medical attention. The loony bit. Josh, face I'll lose with kids at school with a phantom and nutcase. Life sucks. Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Because I shot it dead! Stupid. Boom. Who's that? Boom. No more pain. Who said that? You. Your life is over, Josh. Over. 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 Who's there? You. 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 Do it in the living room for your parents to see. Leave your brains on the wall. Make them feel bad. The rifle's in the closet. Break the lock. Boom. <laughs> no more pain. That's dumb. Josh, the joke will be a year behind all of his friends. Well, everyone's having fun in the sun. Josh is eating gobbledygook in a book. Shut up. Stop it. 
Only you can make the voices stop, Josh. How? One silver bullet would silence them forever. You'd end your pain, stop the voices in your head. They'd be in awe of you. You'd be a legend for years to come. Kill the voices, Josh. Does it hurt? Will it feel the skull? Will it feel a thing? I'm scared. <laughs> Make your face a mask. A mask that hides your face. A face that hides the pain. A pain that eats your heart. A heart nobody knows. Here it goes. Josh, you home? They'll take you to the loony bin. Josh, are you seeing your mother around? I got a call from the hospital. Apparently, we're supposed to drive you to the. Um... Where'd you get the rifle? Don't chicken out now. Unless you want to be Josh the joke. Josh, put that down. Dead, dead, dead. What's that? Josh, what was that noise? Mum. Make your face a mask. A mask that hides your face. A face that hides the pain. A pain that eats your heart. A heart nobody knows. I love you, Mum. Dead! Dead! Twinkle, twinkle, Mom. little star. Dad. How I wonder what I wanted to kill you. The only dead. So How can I tell you what's I on my mind by you interrupting? In <coughs> Mum? Is that you? How I Stop it, please. You used to sing out to me when I was going to sleep. Stop it, please. How I Have I had enough pain? Is it hard enough to be with nobody? Is it hard enough? Everybody looks at me like I'm a broken trash bag. Where do I fit in? Where can I go and not have anybody on my back? That school. Teacher's giving me this test. That paper. Don't do this. Don't do that. Then I come home. You will always find something I didn't do. And I'm never good enough! I guess I'm just sick of you being disappointed to me all the time. Remember when you told me the outfit was glove dad? I caught a high fly in the lovely championship game. You carried me off the field. Why can't he be like that? Why is it so easy to talk to you now? Anyway, thanks for listening. <coughs> Why me? You liked me. You snitched on me. <coughs> Why did you have to shoot me through the heart? Why do you think you shot me? You don't see me sometimes. Parents don't see me. 
Kids this dude don't see me. I'm invisible sometimes. Why me? I had a football scholarship. You were everything I wanted to be. And why did you have to shoot me through the head? You should figure that out when you push me. Why me? Didn't even know you. I never even spoke to you. What right did you have to take away all the life I could have lived? Feel like a man when you shot me through the stomach. You have no idea what it's like to be for somebody one day, nobody the next. Why me? I had my whole life before me. So did I. Why'd you have to shoot me through the neck? I don't know. Why me? All my life I've been taught that forgiveness is for the forgiver. But I just can't. Not until I know what's really in your heart. If you're in my head, how come you don't know that? We need, you, we need to hear it coming from you. Sometimes I hate being alive. But I'm afraid to be dead. Do you know what I hate about being dead? You can't just call up and order a pizza. Pepperoni. Extra cheese. Garlic. Help the extra cheese. Extra cheese, please. With bacon. With fries. Drenched in ranch dressing. Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate chip cookies. With milk. With cold milk. So many things to miss. You could never name them all. Never. I miss driving. Windows down. Miss lying on my bed in the dark before you sleep to see me. I miss getting shot down by girls. I miss when a guy gets that look in his eye and just never is going to last a while. And then you and then he has to worry your last one. I miss when she asks before you finish. I love to. I miss when you go in for the kiss. And it happens and it's so much better than ever dreamed it would be. I miss bowling. I miss good times in Louisiana. I miss bowling. I miss how my dog jumps all over here when he comes home from school and barks for a treat. I miss Kathy. I miss trying on jeans in the changing room and finding out they fit just like <coughs> I miss cheese plates. I miss soda piss tickling my nose. I miss loving someone. I miss fixing my hair in the morning. I miss dancing to the music on the radio. Pretending I'm in class. I miss Sunday brunch. I miss Chris Kipping Jones. I miss jumping into a cool pool on a hot day. I miss hanging out. I miss being at home. You know, with popcorn and channel surfing. <coughs> I miss when I give my dog a bath and he shakes and gives me a shower. Oh, I miss Mum's cooking. I miss Mum's cooking wafting through the house and trying to guess what it is. I miss opening the door on a cold day. I miss being on the phone with my friends after me. I miss going to the grocery store and being able to buy whatever the hell I want. I miss, even at my age, not being able to sing on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I miss learning new songs on the piano. I miss checking the mailbox and then being a surprise lunch. A handwritten letter. I miss when you start the new school year and you open the book and the spine cracks. I miss going into the cafeteria at lunch and deciding if you want to sing. I miss that feeling at the end of the race and I'm just so out of breath and just feel so good about myself. I miss the look on my brother's eye when he's about to try one of his new wrestling moves. I never knew it was taking away all that. Never. Never. Not ever. Do you know about never? I'll never achieve my dreams. Never. never. I'll never see all I wanted to say. Never. never. I'll never know all I wanted to know. Never. Not ever. I will never know what it is to live on my own or be independent. I'll never be an artist. I'll never have a chance to be a better person. I'll never go to college and have a double major. I'll never find the one that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I'll never make a marriage work. And give up. Forget her. I'll never be my beautiful frat boy who looks at me and sees perfection. I'll never have a big wedding with a beautiful dress. I'll never make new friends. I'll never be.
psychologist. I'll never have a chance to bring Dad a crowd with me. I'll never sit in the corner of a candlelit restaurant and talk all night. I'll never be 19. I'll never know what it is to come home from work and have all of my children pull me down on the floor and cover me with hugs and kisses. I'll never know if the psychic was right. Will I get what I want or sell used cars? I'll never know what it is to own my own car. <laughs> I'll never be in the maternity ward with my frat boy telling me to push, push, and just tell him to shut up. I'll never own a red convertible. I'll never fly a plane. Or sail a boat. Or see the Dead Sea. I'll never come home to my beautiful frat boy children. I'll never go to Paris. Or Tokyo. Or learn to fly a bitch. I'll never have a chance to play catch with my son. I'll never cry at my children's graduation. And I'll never have an epitaph that reads, Beloved mother, grandmother, wife, died at 17. Do you want from me? If I could bring you back to life, I would. Don't you get that? It's over. It's over. It's over for us, Josh. But it's just beginning for you. For the rest of your life. You'll have us in your head until you're dead. You'll see us again. And again. And again. Over again. And again. Just as you saw us this morning in the cafeteria. Dead! 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 Possibilities too. Is this the rest of my life? Oh God. 